Hello, my name is Dr. Kevin Mercado. This video is to demonstrate how to effectively apply a pressure bandage on an open wound. So let's just say his open wound is in this area here. We're going to apply a dressing and firmly keep that dressing in place. And then we're going to use our index finger of our right hand. I'm a left-handed person, so I'm using the left hand to bandage. I'm going to use the right hand index finger to hold it in place. I'm going to remove my thumb, place it back on top where it was before. And then I'm going to create an, an X again to start the bandage, just like I did with the elastic bandage for, for those who watched it. Uh, saw that those that video series and it also has an inverted v again so it's no different than before i'm going to recreate the same pattern the second time around going transitioning a little bit more forward or superior on the arm remaining keeping the thumb in place and then i'm going to I can make a twist, okay, where my thumb is to maintain pressure. Put the thumb back on, on where it was, and I can create another twist right on top of that twist to keep the pressure there. Replace my thumb back on. And I'm going to transition up a little bit further. And then I'll do one more twist, a third twist, to keep it, the wound sealed. Now I'm ready to, I'll do one more round. Now I'm ready to, to tie the knot. So the knot, we're gonna create, we're gonna have this end here. Let's back up just a little bit here so they can make sure we see this end. I'm going to, instead of continue to wrap it around, I'm gonna flap it back over this index finger here, just like so. Then I'm gonna take my left hand, I'm gonna bring it underneath like that. Now I'm going to take this off of my index finger and now I have two ends to tie the knot. So I have two, we'll call it two bunny ears. I'm going to cross the bunny ears over each other. This might be a little too short. We'll see if I can make it work. I'm going to tie the knot like a shoelace. I'm going to tie it okay and then I'm gonna twist it to keep the, the knot in place and that is how to effectively apply a pressure bandage to an open wound uh, to seal a wound we'll also make sure that it's sealed here I can't get my finger underneath it's we'll also make sure it's sealed here I can't get my finger underneath as well and that's how to effectively bandage an open wound with a pressure bandage